Right, welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on this. This is a A12 XEL engine out of a Vauxhall. Um, basically, timing chain failure. So what we're doing today is I've already removed the timing chain, you stripped it, now I'm fitting the new timing chain. So that's what I'm going to make a video of today. I've already cleaned everything. I've got the tensioner, the actual hydraulic tensioner already mounted to the back. Got new top runner on, and everything is clean, free of oil, all the surfaces, all ready to take the new gasket. I've already laid everything out on here as well. Got the timing chain cover all clean, free of all gasket, all ready to go. Got a new gasket over there, bottom tensioner runner, our new guide runners here. That's the back one, this is the front one. I've got all the bolts laid out, torque wrench set it out. Set out. We are literally ready to go. Now basically when you do this, you have to gook. This side faces the engine. You have to basically glue just this little bit here and here where the head joins the block. And you've also got to glue this round here, this little bit just down here. And same with round the back here, you've got to glue that as well. Now, because you're applying glue, um, basically a, a sealant, you've obviously have got a limited amount of time to actually get this done now this is why i've got the head camera on and i'm doing it this way and i've got all the bolts laid out ready to rock because when i start and that gasket goes on i've got literally 30 minutes to get that side cover on 40 minutes maybe max before the gasket will start to set and then if i'm longer than that then i start running into troubles then i have to take it all back apart clean it all again and then go for another try so anyway let's do it I've also got the chain in this box here and I've lubricated it already with oil ready to go so we're all pretty much ready to rock I'm gonna now lubricate the crankshaft as well ready for the new gear so we just pump that on there let that drip round right okay let's get the sealant let's do this let's do it right we don't want a lot we just want enough i'm gonna run a nice little bead around here a bit, of, a bit of hard sealant there And there we have it. We're gooped. Time to rock. Got the gasket. There's two dial points. Got one. This gasket has come under there. Then we got our we got a dial here. And then we got another one there. And that's that, that's that. The gasket is now on. Glue is in place. And we're ready to rock. Right, the time, the clock is ticking. Time is now 34. So let's get this thing built up. Let's put the chain over the top. So, we put it over that rail runner there like so we put this side over there like so and we put the crank over the crank 
Now what we do, we'll get our bottom gear, which is here. We put our bottom gear over the crank. Get our chain. chain on with a new gear mm. right next we get our, our runner now this is a fun game now what you got to do with the runner is it comes up like so over this dowel and basically up into place and then we locate the bolts Okay. Right, first thing first. Right. Both of them are eight Newton meters. Now we go for the primary, it's the main tensioner. You can see the book there states that it's 15. that that one done up now all the chain is in the center of the runners like it is pull the grenade pin which loads the chain takes out the free slack we've got a locking pin in the bottom cam locking tool in the top all is good so main crank gear is in place the belt chain around it nicely, like so. Yep, 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 yep. So, then what we do is get a bit of oil. The oil chain guide up top. And down the bottom. So, then we get the side cover, this bit here, now we put the side cover on, Now, I've got 
on the dowels and get that all the way around the way. That's it, the dowels are in, the dowels are in. We're good, good, good. Now we get our, our bolts. Start bolting them together. All our bolts in first, but don't tighten them up. One, two, another one up here. And we've got one longer bolt than all the rest. And that longer bolt goes in, in there. And then the other ones go in, in there. Set this six foot pound ten back back six and we start locking them off. Doing the four first. Pull them in square. have it we're all done up now all talked up um, you can also see when I mounted this I actually put the water pump on which made things a bit easier as well um, so yeah so made things a bit easier two down the bottom so yeah the whole cover bolts basically so all the bolts around the outside to hold the cover on are all done up to six are all done up to eight new meters as well so pretty much everything is 8 new meters apart from the one tensioner which obviously I um the guide runner up the back the pivot bolt which is 15 foot pound or 20 new meters basically um yeah so now it's all done up you can see the gaskets it's squeezing out the sides all the all the actual rest of the gaskets is all mounted up nicely so we're all good so chain is on now she's all in time pretty well all good or where she should be and that's about it next thing what I'll probably do is get the crank pulley in and then as I rotate the engine I'll lube the cam the cam the uh, timing chain right up so I'll just pump loads of oil over it and keep lubricating it I've already lubricated it I put it in a in the bag I chopped the top up and filled the bag up with oil and let it soak for a little while so all the oil penetrated into the links and everything um, all the other runners are all done so we're all good so all done now that's how you do a timing chain, basically. I'm sorry about the bad quality of the video, but I had 30 minutes to do it. I couldn't be messing around trying to relocate the camera or anything. Basically, it had to be done there and then, and I couldn't faff about. So, 
anyway i hope that's been helpful and the talk talk sense been helpful um once you've done you can get the this tool here which checks the alignment of the chain that sits on there and that basically should sit on there that checks all your timing positions so because i know that's all sweet and that's all square and all sitting nice and square all the everything's good i've got the main bar in the back of the cams as well which basically where i've done it so well it just literally fell out the main crank pins down here in the bottom that locks the crank up so yeah there you go successful job and now we're going to get on and do something else thank you very much for watching if you found it helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and I, um, we'll keep going and keep making some more videos i chose to do this one because i couldn't find much on facebook oh, um, on youtube so here you go nice little one for you and as far, as far as i'm aware the 1400s are the same as well so they're both exactly the same so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon